Good morning, Martians. Well, I was speaking with P72 this morning, and he had a good question. And I might have covered it a long time ago, but I have so many videos, I couldn't really find the old video. So right now, I just started a regular game. It's Victoria Settlement. And you spawn in right here. You just drop right here to the ground. Well, let's say... Well, his question was basically, how do I get so many suits and pills and food and water all the time? How do I always have those things? Well, you know, I kind of build my own scenarios. So I add stuff in uh, this way. Well, right now I'm just in a regular game, as you can see. Um, so I can save my progress and load the game and all that. I'm just in a standard game. So let's say I, you know, come in here and I think, well, this is great. I'll, I'll go ahead and manufacture some stuff. And I'll, I build this building and I expand it. And I spend about four hours on it. And I'm like, holy crap, I don't have enough stuff. I'm going to die. And I just, there's no way I can keep up with it. I wish I had some more water and pills and food. That would be great. Um, well, in a regular game, you're kind of, uh, you know, stuck at that point. Now, you, you can open a scenario in the regular editor and drop stuff in and start from there. But how do I, how do I open my game that I just spent four freaking hours working on? And, you know, I'd, I'd rather not lose all this progress and kind of make it an, an open world kind of a play situation where I keep going. Well, <clears throat> the thing is, uh, and, and matter of fact, just to test this, I should probably... Uh, Turn this light on or something just to indicate that I'm doing something and, and uh, that I've done something in here. Um, let's move the car, you know, just to show I'm actually saving the progress, make sure that I'm getting this right. Let's move the car over here. That way it's not just the basic uh, standard. Let's put it right up here on a rock or something. All right, there we go. Let's get out of here. All right, so now we have evidence that we're saying... Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and save my progress. We'll just hit save. Got an empty slot there. I'm going to save again. Okay, so now we have my progress. So that's my four hours of building time. And we're back in the game. I'm like, oh, man. I, I, okay, so what I do here is... And it's a little... Not really, I don't want to call it a trick, but there's a m couple ways of doing this. Now, I usually start off in the standard editor and build my scenarios. Um and have what I need mostly. Oh, I produce it. But anyway, let's just go from here. We're going to go ahead and quit the game. We, we know we saved some changes there. And I'm going to exit the game totally. Now you can see I'm in the regular game here. You can see the version up here. And you can see it's orange. So I'm going to exit back to Steam. And then next time when you launch it, see I'm in the developer branch. And I point this out because there's the main branch, the developer branch, and the test branch. And I tend to use the developer branch just because I like to show off the new stuff that's coming down the pike for everybody. So I'm going to hit play. Well, instead of playing the regular game, I'm going to hit developer mode. That's different than developer branch, but developer mode. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. Now right off the bat, you can see it's different. It's got the yellow logo, and it says developer mode right here. And you can see the version right up here in the right-hand corner. Now, instead of like uh, using the editor or whatever, I'm just going to open my game where I was at. Now, you can use the editor here, but that's for setting up new scenarios and stuff like that. But if you want to actually make a change to the game you already played, this is the way to do it. So, I go down here. And I want to start my game up again, which was, what was it again? Victoria Settlement. And it says restart. Oh. Oh, can I hit load? Yes. Hit the load button. Will then give you your previous save. So I'll hit load game. The uh, car should be on the rock. The light should be on. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we know we, we have our progress here. Lights on, cars on the rock. So now, when you're in your game now in developer mode, and you can see right up here it says developer mode, save, uh, achievements are disabled. But that's okay, you're not going to be in here forever. So you don't want to play your game in this, in this uh, developer um, mode. 
you just want to come in here and to get out of your character you hold both alt keys and hit the F key as in fantastic and now you're outside of your character see how you can now you can move around now you gotta be careful your scroll wheel will slow your camera speed so scroll it towards you and you can go slower but it always defaults to super fast so now you're basically in editor mode and if you hit your um, and you notice how time kinda stopped I don't think the sun stops but I think you know everything stops your character wind and stuff like that but if you hit your space bar actually was it yeah see he's still moving a little bit you hit your space bar now it stops everything engines your character falling whatever things in the air but now you have this little exclamation point right here and you can drop in goods now when you have this showing you can go through walls see how you can do that now if you have that off by hitting space bar you hit the walls see how you can't get in so now you can go inside you can drop a couple crates and right over here, these little stack of little blocks here. I'll try to zoom in on these areas. What's it say? Building blocks. Okay. Well, you scroll down and find like a crate or something. Let's see here. It's not quite as organized as like the printer interface, but if you pick crate three bright, bright means big. So you got small and bright. Bright for some reason means big. And wherever you have your now remember, right click freezes your camera. So you can move you can move your cursor around. Um, to get to these little menus and saves and whatever now wherever you're at and you hit the T key whatever you have highlighted here will spawn right there so you could hit your T key for a crate and you can put it right in the middle on the top here and hit T key again now you got two crates in here and you can go ahead and move your camera again right click to lock it and come over here and go to the little tool it looks like a drill and then come down here and grab vitamins just highlight them and then wherever you hit the T as in T <laughs> you could just pop in some pills pop in some pills you got your beef jerky packs and you don't want them touching each other because if they spawn inside each other they'll explode so just kind of be aware of that just make sure you got some space when you I don't think I ever mentioned that then you got your water packs now remember we're still in a regular game your game save so you got your water packs you got your food and I think there's nine slots per crate when you get info on them so if you want to count out your things or whatever it doesn't matter now we can't click on them see it's not highlight I mean I'm highlighting it but it's not selected but if I click it see how it turns kind of a light blue and that window at the bottom shows up right down here well you could rotate it and you could do stuff most people you, know, you don't have to mess with any of that but it shows that it is highlighted and you can't come over here and add resources it says it has no resource slots it does actually have nine so at some point that'd be nice if we could like load it here um, like we can with resource barrels and such so I just right clicked and left click to deselect so you gotta make sure you deselect stuff that's for damn sure because if you select something else and move it everything moves that you have selected see because on a resource barrel you can uh, left click to select it and right click to freeze your frame and you can edit the resources that's inside the bottle right here you can add more water or you can change it to methane or whatever now some of these resources don't show up until you have a um, refinery placed at the location somewhere so you'll just get basic in, um, resources but if you have a refinery installed somewhere on your map you get more resources all of them so that's a little trick too not a trick but just a fact so you can get methane and aluminum or whatever because if you're making a scenario you want to have access to this stuff so anyway I'm going to deselect the water and we'll go back outside and we're going to hit the space bar and now we're still in the editor but here's my character so I want to get back into my character hitting, uh, holding both alt keys and then hit the F key again okay now we're back in a regular game and you can go right up here and hit save just like you would if you're getting ready to go to work and you're done playing for the day you just hit save overwrite the existing yep and you did you saved your game and now you're back in it and look the stuff's in there see it but you don't want to play in this mode so you want to go ahead and quit the game because right now we're in uh, 
remember the developer game and you lose achievements and all that kind of stuff so it's just not the same so you go ahead and exit the game fully and you notice this yellow logo up here and it says developer mode wait till it stops running now you can just play it regular and now you can just go right back into uh, your game let's see scenarios I got a lot of these <laughs> so we go right down here to take on Mars scenarios Victoria settlement load remember don't hit restart <laughs> hit load and there's your last save There you go. Now we're back in the regular standard game here. And that crap's still in there. So let's run inside real quick. Now it says safe environment right here. But look at the gap around that door. What's going on with that? I'm not really sure. I've never seen that before. That's either something new or this is like a real old scenario. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking old scenario light on and now you can come right over here get info on that box yeah nine slots and you can grab your stuff off the floor and drag it right into your crate now you gotta remember we're still in uh, we're in a regular game now but at least you got more stuff water food to hold you over because um, it does suck you, you work four hours or whatever on a build and you're like holy crap this I, I gotta stop I can't keep going and you can get info on this crate for the rest of the stuff so now you got more water more food more vitamins hey remember you can do that with resources um, right now all the resources aren't being used anyway I might as well leave these in here oh I can't do that why can't I do that cannot move here can I throw one on the ground oh that's interesting I don't know why that's even happening but anyway that's how you can do that let's put it right back over here and now you have a couple crates full of stuff you got your water and you can plant you know I could have threw some seeds in here because this particular scenario if I'm not mistaken forgot to add seeds I remember somebody mentioned and that's when I first covered this you know hey we don't have no seeds well this is kind of you know uh, a scenario they just kind of threw together and for some reason this door hole is like jacked man so it's like they changed some things since last time or my settings are set too low um, and the edges are sharpening you know instead of being a nice smooth curve not really sure but yeah this particular scenario doesn't have seeds that's what my whole point was but yeah, you can't uh, add them now. You'd have to do the developer mode. So you know, I hope that helped out a little bit on how to uh, get some extra stuff. Into your already saved game because I know it really sucks to have spend a whole bunch of time doing something and uh, having to stop. So that's a that's a nice little way of adding some uh, food and resources back into your game, so you can keep on building. There you go. You guys have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.